Hi everybody and welcome to Boxes Upon Boxes Special Edition. Today we are doing an unboxing of a Kickstarter board game I backed not that long ago for Escape from New York, the iconic movie from 1981 starring Kurt Russell, Lee Van Cleef, Ernest Borgnine, and Adrian Barbeau. I think this is everything they made available at the time of the Kickstarter. This is the base game, the stretch goal pack. We have the Bands of New York expansion, the Prisoner Pack, and the Police expansion. And then, of course, down front is the presidential figurine. And kind of propping everything up is the player mat. It's a little hard to see. It's, it's almost like filming a mirror because everything's so dark and it's still in the shrink wrap. But let's open this up and take a look. This is the base game. The artwork is so iconic. This is this looks like a movie poster from 1981. I love that. Call me Snake. <laughs> According to the iconography, it is a game for ages 13 and older, one to four players, and could take about 60 minutes to play. There was an accident about an hour ago. A small jet went down inside New York City. The president was on board. The president of what? <laughs> oh, this movie was great. Escape from New York transports you into the iconic atmosphere of the movie released in 1981 by master director John Carpenter. I forgot about that. The whole Manhattan is the world's biggest open air prison. You'll play as Snake Plissken, Brain, Maggie, and Cabby, the iconic taxi driver. In a race against time, you'll explore the dangerous streets of New York, searching for the president, the government tape, and a diagram of the bridges, and escape without stepping on a landmine. You can work together, or you might, at any point during the game, decide to betray your companions to complete your own personal objective and escape from New York alone. Whatever your decision, you must face the prisoner band of Manhattan, headed by the Duke of New York, and two other fearsome foes, Romero and Slag. Let's see what's inside. This is a game by Kevin Wilson. It, and then I'm not sure who does what, but uh, it says Pendragon down here and Studio Canal over here. There is no art on the inside of the box. That's fine, but sometimes there is. First, we have the rule book. And on the back, Mr. Pliskin himself. I haven't read the rule book, but I love the layout. It's very colorful. It's easy on the eyes. I like the scenes from the movie. It's got that new board game smell. It's like some standees. Tokens for the game. I don't know if that's what this was for, but this little notch here made it easy to pull the cardboard out of the box. Oh, this looks like the game board itself. Oh, it's long. Oh, it's not long. <laughs> it's just folded. Okay, there we go. The game board. Manhattan. And I see it's like three bridges. Huh. Oh, four bridges. I thought there was only the one, but maybe I'm uh, not the escape from New York expert that I had imagined. There's nothing on the rear of the game board, so it's only one sided. It looks like we have some character cards. Oh, there is alternative art on the back. 
I think the text is exactly the same, so it's more of a personal preference. It's cabby. Brain. Maggie. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, the enemies. Or the leaders of these next pieces appear to all be made of wood. Got cubes. Some other mystery things. Wonder what this big cylinder is for. I'm guessing these are your enemies. I don't see any difference in the meeples themselves. They all appear to have a sword. Standees holder. Uh, it's been a long time since I looked at this Kickstarter. I don't know if any of these components are going to be replaced with the stretch goal pack. I think it's high likelihood. And then we have packs of cards. I'm going to open these. If I can. Master Life Clock, Statue of Liberty card, looks like she's seen better days. Okay, well there's another Statue of Liberty card in green, blue, there's only one of those, uh, yellow, there's only one of those, and then several red. I assume that's some kind of game phase thing. I have such trouble opening these things. There we go. You'd think that little band would help me, but it doesn't. Got a deck of cards here with brain on the back. Uh, oh, these must, I wonder if these must be player cards. Because there is Cabby and Maggie and Snake. And then we have another kind of card. That must, oh, that must be the briefcase. I don't know. That looks kind of ominous. These must be event cards. Don't know what that is. Burning barrel. Ooh, looks like the enemy is coming. Maybe the police are coming there. I wonder if that's like a a, a goody chest or something that you can find. More of these. And then looks like some player aids. And the cab. Although maybe, maybe it's not Cabby's cab. Maybe it's any car. More cab cards and a different color. What I'm what I'm calling a police card. I don't know what these really are. Oh, it says personal objective. Okay. 
more burning barrels. Those appear to be events. And more of these crates. I think they are, I don't know if they, I, I think they are items. Another president and a couple of more briefcases. I don't know why these were wrapped separately. And there's one more pack of cards in the base game to unwrap. And it looks again like there might be more of the same. More briefcases. Uh, looks like more. Oh, these are, these must be personal items for the characters because Maggie has a revolver. Snake has the <laughs> Mac Ten. Brain has a diagram of the bridge. Cabby has the taxi. Uh, brain, well, there's more brain cards. So, and more cabby cards. So these, all these cards appear to be character specific. And I don't know why they were wrapped separately. So that's the base game. Put all this back. And see what's in the Kickstarter stretch goal pack. I think that'll be where all the upgrades are. For me, um, sure, the, the rules, of course, are important. The theme is important, but the presentation is, I think that when you have high quality components, it helps to draw the players into the game and bring the game to the table more often. Uh, and it just, it just, I think it makes it more fun. This is the stretch goal pack. I am going to take the screen crap off so we get rid of this mirror effect. See what the lights await us. This is the Kickstarter stretch goal pack. It does show you what's inside on the back of the box, but I'm going to save that surprise. Hmm. There are special rules for the stretch goal pack. It says, Stretch Goals Rule Book. Although it appears to be only one additional page, the rest of these are uh, different languages. This looks like it could be a poster. This appears to be a 3D prop for the bridge. Two dice. We have a plastic tray that appears to be custom molded to certain components. We have four briefcases that are individually numbered. Cabby looks like he's throwing a Molotov cocktail. A dystopian station wagon. A burning barrel. Another vehicle, another vehicle. Ah, this must be the Duke's car with the chandeliers mounted on the hood. Helicopter, I'm assuming this is a police helicopter. And this must be Snake's plane. We also have another bag of goodies. Oh, this looks like, well, those are cars that are upright. 
I wonder if this is, yeah, it's, this one's the same thing. This must just be uh, either debris or obstacles or something. There are a lot of these. And we have crates, a handful of crates, plastic rings. Normally these would contain miniatures, but I don't see miniatures. Oh, unless it's for these things. That could be. Yeah, they would fit those. So this just must represent ammunition that you can find throughout the game. A handful of bullets. And we have a pack of cards. More items. A couple of item cards. I think they must have just given me every language. So we've got the English version here and whatever language that is there. But it's the same item. Strange Tomato English version here. So I think we're good. These trays are all textured. I assume that makes it easier to pull the items out. And if not, they, it just looks cool. They have a corrugated steel look uh, with finger holes here. I have tr three trays like this. However, I also ordered the custom uh, parts organizer. It's made of wood and I probably won't use any of this. Well, any the the tray. And that's the stretch goal pack. All right, let's get into the expansions. Let's start with the president. I'm not sure why they packaged the president. I mean, I, sure, it's a it's a little bonus. It makes you think that you are you got something extra. But I'm not going to keep this box, and I. But it does pain me to throw away part of the game, you know, it's, uh, it is a dilemma. There's the president looking a little worse for wear. The Bands of New York. Since this is a fifth player expansion, does that mean you can only use these guys if there are five players? I don't know. Maybe. So on one hand, more options. And on the other hand, this might be something you never get to use if, if you never find a fifth player. All right, let's open this. I can see already what's in the box based on what's on the back of the box, but we'll save that. Additional rules for the fifth player. This appears to be a replacement card for what comes in the base game. We have new cards with the Duke of New York on the back. There's your fifth player item cards. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to play the Duke of New York? I mean, I think... Boy, that would be a toss-up. Snake Plissken's obviously the star of the game, but uh, I think I'd want to play the Duke. Player aid. And then the Gladiator with the baseball bat. Gotta love that. Who's this? Is that the Duke? Might be the Duke. 
Hard to tell. Oh yeah, it must have been the Duke because this is his crazy assistant. That giggling guy. This is the hero set in Prisoners. It doesn't say expansion, but it's boxed like the other two that are called expansion. So I, I don't recall if this is an expansion or what this means. There are no extended rules in the game, so maybe it's just deluxified components. We have a bunch of these guys. I wonder if these are replacements for those red wooden meeples. They were all holding swords as well. And I think these are all the same. So could very well be. We got these. It's like this guy's holding a baseball bat. I think these are all the same. Oh, okay. These are your characters. It's Cabby. So these just must be deluxified components. This, there's Snake. I like it. There's Brain. There's Maggie for Pistol. And some standee holders. So very nice. Uh, I can see that this would not be an expansion. It would just be deluxification of the base game components, which I think is great. But then the thing is, is then I, I, I will have all those extra components that are being replaced and I'll be torn. They're just going to go in the junk bin because I can't throw them away, but I also don't want to use them. So <laughs> I know, I know. United States Police Force Expansion. All right, so this resembles the other expansion we have an expansion rule book. It's like a player card. I wonder if this is a sixth player. This expansion introduces a game variant, the cop negotiation. In addition to their missions, the heroes must also resolve tasks given during the game by Hawk if they want to get the presidential pardon at the end. The heroes may decide to help the cops or even betray them, resolving their secret objectives. But beware, if they want to escape alone, they must also look for an explosive extractor to remove the deadly charge from their neck. Here's your police miniature. So there's Hulk. Nice sculpt. And we have a pack of cards. Not sure what all these do yet, but we will find out. Oh, more character cards. Looks like one for each player, another briefcase card, and two more crates. 
I hope I don't have to separate all these. I just want to keep them all in one box. So that's the police expansion. It's kind of an inner struggle I have to either keep the game board that comes with the box so that you can just grab the box and you know you have everything for the game. But then they also make this beautiful game mat available. And for one thing, it's I think it's larger, but it's just so pretty. And you don't get the cardboard popping up and I it just looks so nice and you also have places to put all the resource cards and such and so there there is added utility oh, oh yeah so you can keep track of your where you are in the game there's the briefcases and the president and and all that there is added utility so certainly unnecessary, but also nice. One thing I don't like about Kickstarters is they want you to order everything and then you get six boxes. I don't want six boxes. I want one box per game. Hopefully this custom organizer will allow me to consolidate all of the pieces into one box. And although it will pay me to do so, I will get rid of the other five boxes and just have one box and the player mat and that's it. You can see how the box will look assembled. It appears to be a much higher quality wood than the last one I assembled. I don't know if this requires glue. I probably will use glue. Um, we'll, we'll just have to see. There are a lot of instructions with this organizer. But I, I guess that's good. Better too many than too few. I like how it says, don't glue this part. Because I probably would have glued it. That's the unboxing. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. <laughs> Hopefully I have edited this video well enough to keep your interest. Thanks for stopping by.